Hello guys, welcome back. Let's talk about the CZ Shadow 2, one of the favorite guns of USPSA's top competitors. Those who follow the sports must have seen Maria Gushina of Russia using Shadow 2, and she is not the only one. Many other professional shooters have used this stunning looking pistol in recent years. The Shadow 2 has a niche market, but not many know that its predecessor, CZ SP-01, was also a really capable gun. It was designed specifically for law enforcement agencies and military police, and thanks to the exceptional accuracy and reliability of the handgun, it was quickly adopted by a number of foreign forces as well. Taking the pointers from SP-01, CZ decided to tap the competitive market and developed Shadow 2. Right now, the company offers about five variants, but the fundamentals of all variants are the same. The handgun is based on the venerated DASA CZ-75's design, arguably one of the most copied designs in the US. If you have clicked on this video, you must have seen its spec sheets, and yes, it certainly looks impressive. There is no doubt that the pistol is capable. I mean, it takes a lot to become popular in the USPSA circle, and the Shadow 2 is arguably the most popular among them. It certainly adds to its charm, but if you want to spend somewhere around a grand and a half, you probably will want to know more than just the names of people who have used it. And it is exactly what I want to do in this video, tell you about the little things that fade somewhere behind the highlights. So let's just get to it. Ergonomics. When you purchase a $1,500 gun, you certainly would not want to feel all over the place while holding it. Fortunately, this is not the case with Shadow 2. In fact, ergonomics is the best thing about this gun. You see, it does not try to be anything other than what it is, a handgun targeted at competition-style shooters. Hence, every little detail is designed to cater to that specific audience. Anyone who is used to everyday carry would find it heavier while holding it. But you see, it is not meant for everyday carry, so the weight should not be an issue. It is a hefty gun, but one that feels incredible in my hands. Hold this gun and you will immediately realize it is not your ordinary carry gun. The grips on the Shadow 2 are textured, and like most things on this handgun, these are customizable. You can change the grips and pick from a range of colors as per your liking. The textures on the grips is aggressive, but not too aggressive to cause any abrasion. It does exactly what it should, providing an incredible grip over the gun. The only complaint I have with Shadow 2 in terms of ergonomics is the slide release. People with large hands might not notice it, but the position of the slide release is a bit odd. It is not quite in the center, making it tough to get around the safety. You'll have to move around the gun to pull the slide lock down if you have smaller hands. Apart from that, there is not much wrong with it. The slide lock is not stiff. It is just that people with smaller hands will have a hard time reaching it. Controls There is not much one can find wrong with the controls of Shadow 2. The ambidextrous safety on the handgun has a wide lever on the left-handed side and a low profile on the right side. It makes accessing it easier for both the right and left-handed shooter. Furthermore, safety also makes that satisfying audible click when it is engaged or disengaged. Some people believe that safety is too light, but I don't think you have anything to worry about. The magazine release shares the same story. It is large, and you would likely not have any trouble pulling out the magazine. You can easily access the release button without changing the grip. That said, the screw holding the magazine release button will fall out if you do not apply some sort of non-permanent thread locker. Trigger For a DASA gun that costs around $1,500, the trigger on Shadow 2 feels very nice. Sure, it is not ideal, but it can be modified to perfection with the right aftermarket accessories. From the half-cock, the double action trigger has a bit of travel before the pull. The actual pull is heavier, but consistent and smooth until it breaks. Afterward, it is the same story. You feel some over travel. With a single action, there is a springly take up and some creep before it breaks. It certainly feels more like a rolling break than a hard break. However, the aftermarket offers tons of accessories to improve the shortcomings in the trigger of Shadow 2. In fact, it is the second most sought after category after the grips in the market. Reliability Reliability does not seem to be a problem with Shadow 2. Although it is a relatively new addition to my gear, I don't think I will experience any reliability issues with this gun. With it, I have fired over 500 rounds of 115GR 9mm so far, and for now, it has not experienced even a single malfunction. The performance on the range. 
I think it's a good time to mention that the pistol comes with three magazines and a capacity of 17 rounds each. It makes the range enjoyable. I must say it is one of the most accurate guns that I have ever tried on my range. It is a complete racehorse. The heavy weight and slim design feels incredible in the hands. That said, like most CZs, racking of slides is a bit of a task, but nothing you cannot get used to. However, if it was not for that, the gun would not eat as much recoil as it absorbs now. The recoil of the pistol allows you to keep the target acquired for follow-up shots. Furthermore, the sights are also improved in Shadow 2. It offers fiber optic front sight, which is bright and pops out at you. The rear sight is also effective, but you will need a bit of time to get used to it. It features a U-notch cut instead of traditional markings, which I was not used to. The rear sight is click adjustable as well, which allows you to change elevation, drift, and windage. You can change and modify the sights according to the type of ammo. While the sights are effective at shooting targets at the broad daylight range, I am not sure if they would work just as well for home defense. They do not perform as well in the low light, so you might want to swap them or at least practice with them in low light before relying on them in emergencies. To put the performance of the Shadow 2 on the range in a nutshell, I can safely say that even if you hand this gun to someone who has never used the gun before, he or she will be able to make a decent group. Should you purchase it? Well, you see, it is a very capable gun that can be customizable with many accessories. To be honest, there is not much one can find wrong with it despite the nitpicking. But the real question is, do you need this gun? The price tag tells you that it is not a typical home defense gun. It is a handgun designed specifically for a purpose and it is not what most of you would need the gun for. Yes, it is a brilliant competition gun, and the fact that top shooters worldwide use it speaks for itself. But does that mean I should spend around $1,500 on it? I would rather have you answer it. But if you ask me, I would suggest buying it only if you have loads of cash on you. It is a competition gun and should work just as well for home protection, but I do not recommend it if you have to stretch the budget and are looking for a decent person and home protection gun. There are a lot of decent guns designed specifically for that category, and they cost around half of Shadow 2's price tag. I have discussed a number of such guns on my channel, so get the Shadow 2 if you can afford it, but do not feel bad if you cannot cough up enough money. That is all for this video. I hope it has been comprehensive and enabled you to make a decision. Please let me know what you think of it in the comments section and stay connected with the channel to learn more about guns and everything else surrounding them. As always, I will see you at the next one.